When I was down in Mississippi years ago, I was arrested by those kinds of people for preaching the gospel in black high schools, and I was put in jail, and they took all my money away. And they took all my money away. And they took all my money away. Social justice, critical race theory, white privilege, white guilt, racial identity. We don't teach that. We don't teach that. Then the MacArthur Bible Commentary, page 1176, states, The punishment of the wicked is as never-ending as the bliss of the righteous. In the MacArthur Bible Commentary, in the MacArthur Bible Commentary, Mr. Bill Weiss. You know, Bill Weiss, you've been in my spirit, and I have a couple issues with you, several issues with you. Number one, I listened to your story some years ago about how God took you out of your body and took you to hell, uh, but you claimed that God blocked it from your mind that you was a Christian, but this makes no sense, and here's why. I find it very ironic that Shortly after you gave that testimony, you made the decision to go sell everything you own, pretty much give up your real estate career. And then you got started in the ministry, ministering God's word to people, telling them about hell, which is what Christ commanded the rich men in the scriptures. He commanded the rich young ruler. He commanded uh, Zacchaeus, uh, the rich tax collector. He also told Peter to feed his sheep not to take a money bag. Uh, later on, the Apostle Paul said that we, the apostles, are poorly clothed. We're homeless, okay? <laughs> and I'm sure you're a man who knows the scriptures. You have spoke about the scriptures more than even I have, okay? You spoke more about hell than I have. And I do not believe one bit that God took you to hell because you were already a Christian and he just wanted to show you hell. I do not believe that. I believe that you thought in your mind that you were a Christian and he took you there so that you could get right and so that your soul can be saved and so that, of course, you can preach to others. Okay, so that's one issue that I have with your testimony. I do believe that you experienced that testimony, and I admire you. I got a lot of respect for you for uh, uh, speaking that testimony. I'm not coming to you as one who is holier than thou. Matter of fact, if I met you in person, I would shake your hand and say, my name is David Adekali, and I'm a filthy sinner, okay? I'm no better than you, but let's talk about the truth here. Let's not play any games, okay? Let's... let's let God be true and every man a liar. Let's put the devil to shame, okay? Your story makes no sense that you were a Christian. I do not believe that. I believe that God had grace and so that you would get everything right, okay? So that's number one. Uh, number one A, a kind of minor issue that I have is that you said in your testimony that God uh, took you up out of hell and that when he took you up, he showed you the earth because you you always wanted to be an astronaut or some sort. And you said also that you saw the earth hanging on nothing and that the earth was round. OK, I'm, I don't want to get into flat earth versus round earth, but we know that that's a lie from the pit of hell. The devil put out that lie. OK, so I, I find that very questionable. Anyway, the bigger issues that I have, starting with number two, you've spoken well about uh, Pastor John MacArthur and Pastor the late Pastor Billy Graham, and these guys are men of Satan, okay? They do not believe in the Semitic people, who the true Semitic people are. They are, they are not warning men of their sins men who look like them, who've institutionalized generational sin, they've become friends with the world, okay, and refuse to rebuke these guys, all right? So I find it very weird that you would support them and quote them in their scriptures, and all the men that you quote are men who look just like you. See, people, here's the problem. This is why the church is so segregated. The devil is so crafty at using the segregated churches to hold back the truth. The book of Job say they cover the faces of the judges. Okay, they paint Jesus Christ as a white man. Then they say, well, skin color don't matter. Well, if it don't matter, then why are you lying? Okay, why are you going to the extent to put, uh, put pump all this money into covering up the truth? 
You see what I'm saying? So anyway, here's why all of this matters. If you're truly teaching the truth, the unadulterated word of God, and Christ said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel uh, to everyone on the earth, the four corners of the earth, you're going to need white people to do that. You're going to need black people to do that. You're going to need people from different backgrounds and walks of life to do that. Okay. So the truth must be out in the open. Okay. <laughs> because the reason why the truth is being covered up, who the Semitic people are, is because of fear, uh, greed, uh, pride, their uh, generational curses, uh, fear as to what the consequences are going to be for treating God's people that way. The scriptures talk about the judgments that are coming upon the nations, the Gentiles, for their violence against Judah. Now, a matter of fact, let's go quickly to Joel chapter 3, verse 19. It says, Egypt, okay, talking about spiritual Egypt. It's not talking about physical Egypt. The book of Revelation talks about mystery Babylon, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. Okay, America does not need to be written, literally written in the Bible for it to be talking about America. Okay, book of Joel 319, Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom, okay, Edom is a people. So it's talking about a nation state in Egypt, spiritual Egypt, and a people through the genealogies you can trace back. Esau is the father of the Edomites, and Esau is red and hairy. Okay, it says Edom, those people shall be desolate, a desolate wilderness. Okay, they're going to be without, they're going to be in suffering. Okay, scriptures say woe unto them. The Gentiles, the time of the Gentiles. Okay, Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. Bill Weiss, why you never talk about this? All the scripture you talk about. And the only reason I'm addressing this video, because this video you just made, you're talking about, well, Abraham was rich. Uh, the Bible, plenty of men in the New Testament were, were, they had professions and they were rich. Well, Paul was an apostle, okay? The apostle had to be hollowed out for God. We're not talking about his previous life as a Pharisee. Yeah, we know the Pharisees were rich, but that was before he, he came into the knowledge of the truth, okay? Do not manipulate scriptures here. You want to talk about Abraham? Do you know the things that Abraham went through? Okay, God even put his son on the altar. And God searches the heart of men. So you can't say, well, Abraham didn't technically sacrifice his, his son, because in the eyes of God, he did. God knows what Abraham would have done. <laughs> Abraham was also burned alive by uh, Nimrod and the people of the land in his day. Okay, because Abraham would not deny God. Abraham had to pay the price for his faith. His wife, Satan killed his wife when he went to go uh, sacrifice Isaac. His wife was stressed over Isaac. Okay, Abraham went through so much. And God told Abraham to move from his land twice. Once from his father, the second time from Lot. Okay, let's not play this game here, Bill Weiss. Because I could see that spirit on you. I could see that 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 selfish spirit on you. Matter of fact, the uh, testimony that you gave some time back, you said uh, that there was a time you woke up in the morning and you went to go lift weights for a workout before reading the Bible. And then a weight fell on your foot and you asked God, why did he allow that to happen to you? You see... This is the issue I have with you Gentiles. You haven't been through anything. You haven't you haven't been through any suffering. Okay, and the, the, you 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 never learned the lesson that God was trying to teach you by taking you to hell. To teach you, you, you the scriptures say, "Woe to you who are rich, for you already have your consolation." And the the, the, the part of the second, the third reason, the third problem that I have with you is that you also omit the truth 
by saying those Khazars who are in Israel today are Jews and they are not. I don't see how you can know the word as much as you do and say that those people are Jews and they don't think that they don't even believe in the Most High. Why does it matter? Because the scriptures state the harvest is plenty and the laborers are few. And Christ done commanded these people to go sell everything they own and give it to the poor because faith is not in their bloodline. So the only measure of faith that they can contribute to God is to sell everything they own and give it to the poor. That's why Christ said that. Not only that, what they have inherited is stolen. Okay, it's blood money. The, the, there's a curse upon that money. Okay, the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 12 says, Woe to him who builds a town with bloodshed. Okay, so when you say things like that, Bill Weiss, I can hear the folly in your voice. Okay, yeah, God might have mercy on you or maybe he, he won't. I don't know. When you, when you speak lies like that, either out of ignorance or out of pride, whatever the case may be, you got to be held accountable for that. That's the issue that I have because you're teaching two blessings for Esau. To read the book of Genesis chapter 25 and Genesis chapter 27, that it says it's two separate blessings. Esau, his blessing is that he will rule uh, by the sword. He'll, he'll live by the sword. That's what the scriptures state. He doesn't have a spiritual blessing. Now, does this mean that he cannot teach truth? No, it doesn't mean that. Christ just commanded him, knowing the sins of his forefathers. What are some of the other sins of his forefathers? The, 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 they used the Bible for evil sake. Okay, They used it to propel the transatlantic slave trade Okay, to keep the so-called black people in fear and in, in spiritual chains of bondage. Okay, because they know that our people are always the spiritual people. We're the ones who taught them the Bible. Okay, our forefathers, the Apostle Paul, Peter, all these men of God, they laid the frameworks, the foundation for the faith. They're the fathers of the faith. They're the pillars of the faith. Christ established that through his apostles and before them, Moses and Abraham. All of these are our forefathers. So faith is in our bloodline. That was the, the blessing that was given to Jacob. And Esau, his blessing was living by the sword, living by cunning, uh, deception, okay, by lies. Everything he's inherited is off of lies. What does this have to do with heaven and hell? Okay, Christ told the Pharisees, you are of your father, the devil. So he gave commandments to people what they need to do in order to be born again, okay? So if they're, if if people like you, Bill Weiss, is not teaching to his own people what Christ really meant, saying, go into all the world, uh, uh, preaching the gospel, okay, well, a white person can't come into the impoverished communities and all of these third world countries where people who look like them have, have, have established the International Monetary Fund the World Bank and, and all of these think tanks to rob people and loot them of their wealth. You got to come correct, brother. <laughs> you got to come with that check, man. You got to teach that. Okay. Therefore, people take you seriously when you're teaching the faith, the people who don't look like you. I've said this in other videos. Just, just go to the, them ghettos, the ghettos of Philadelphia and Los Angeles and Chicago in Brooklyn, New York, and go to these black people who don't look like you, just cut them a check, tell them Jesus loves you, and get out of their face. Don't try to teach them nothing, because your forefathers messed that up, man. <laughs> your forefathers, you, you, I'm not saying that you should not teach Jesus Christ as Lord. No, everyone must hear the gospel, but he who is wise wins souls. OK, you can't serve God and mammon. OK, you got to give up something. All right. And, I, and, and every time I look at you looking at the countenance on your face, I can see you don't want to teach this truth. Yes. Is it important that people know they need to accept Jesus Christ or hell will be their destination? Yes, that's very important. OK, but what are some of the intricacies of the gospel? 
Because the scriptures say, you confess out of your mouth and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. It doesn't say you will be saved. There are conditions, terms and conditions to repentance. All right? That's all that I have. I just had to get that out of my issue with Bill Weiss. All right? Don't let your flesh write checks that your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's all about faiths and gates. You got to have faith. And you're going to need God's grace.